Hello and welcome to the VLUX Skylight installation video. We're going to demonstrate the deck mounted installation method, which has been the world standard for over 65 years. Deck mounted skylights have the widest range of sizes and accessories available and come in both fixed and fresh air versions. So you want to install a skylight. It may seem like a daunting task, but when you use VLUX skylights and flashing systems, it isn't as hard as you might think. And when you install a VLUX deck mounted skylight correctly, also known as the no leak skylight, you can rest easy knowing that it will not leak no matter what. Our deck mounted skylights come with an industry first 10 year no leak installation warranty, no matter who does the installation. Over the course of this video, you will see the various steps required to properly install VLUX skylights. Just follow along and you'll be a pro in no time. You can also refer to the installation literature included with your skylight and online at VLUXUSA.com. Cut the existing felt back four and a half inches on the bottom and sides. Cut the top back seven inches. Clear the work area of all sawdust and any other debris, leaving a clean surface for the VLUX Adhesive Skylight Underlayment, which is included in the EDL flashing kit. Extend the corners of the rough opening about three or four inches. These lines will be used for centering the skylight over the rough opening. The next step is to place the skylight on the roof. If the flashing is going to be installed at the same time as the skylight, it's a good idea to remove the cladding to prevent unnecessary damage. If the flashing will be installed at a later date, the cladding can be left on. In this video, the flashing will be installed at the same time as the skylight, so we'll remove the cladding to prevent damage while working on the roof. Installing the skylight is pretty straightforward. To begin, remove the cladding. Holding the bottom corners of the cladding, Pull the sides and bottom away from the skylight as a single U-shaped piece. Prior to placing a solar skylight on the roof, locate the flip switch inside the operator cover and slide it toward the middle. To secure the skylight to the roof deck, simply center the skylight over the opening, aligning the extended rough opening marks with the squared notches in the deck seal and secure it in place with the nails provided. With the skylight installed, the next step is to wrap it. Proper wrapping keeps wind, rain, and debris from entering the home through any gaps around the skylight. To ensure weather tightness, the skylight needs to be wrapped with the adhesive underlayment which is supplied with the flashing. This acts as a vapor barrier and helps keep out any moisture that may have gotten under the roofing material to cause condensation. Start at the bottom of the skylight with a piece of adhesive underlayment that extends beyond each corner six inches. If a deck mounted fixed skylight is being installed, stick the top edge of the adhesive underlayment under the bottom rubber gasket as close to the top of the wood skylight frame as possible. Slowly work down the skylight frame. Try to keep out all wrinkles and make a good crease at the transition from the skylight to the roof deck. When wrapping the bottom frame of a solar skylight, be sure to cut the underlayment to fit around the wire lead for the solar panel. Cut the corners by starting at the bottom and cutting up and away from the skylight at a 45 degree angle. Next, secure the top flap to the side of the skylight and the bottom to the roof deck. Follow the same process for installing the adhesive underlayment to the sides and finish with the top of the skylight. At the corners where there may be small pinholes, you may want to cut small circular patches of adhesive underlayment to cover up any openings. With the skylight wrapped, we're ready to install the flashing. On a shingle roof, you should use the type EDL step flashing for installations involving individual skylights. In the following example, you will learn how to install type EDL flashing. Before installing the flashing, be sure that the exterior cladding is removed and the skylight has been wrapped for weather tightness. Then, install a row of roofing material over the bottom edge of the underlayment. Start with a flashing installation by placing the sill flashing at the bottom of the skylight. 
make sure the shingles have been installed close enough to the skylight so that the bottom flashing has proper coverage. Then secure it with roofing nails. For fixed skylights, be sure to pull the rubber gasket located at the bottom of the skylight over the sill flashing to allow proper water drainage. Once the sill flashing has been secured, it is time to start interweaving shingles and step pieces up the sides of the skylight. Nail the step pieces to the roof deck according to the instructions. Nail each step piece with two nails. The first should be near the edge farthest away from the skylight frame at least halfway up. The second nail should be near the top edge at about two-thirds from the side of the skylight frame. In many cases, the top step piece will extend past the top side of the skylight. Do not skip this step piece. Cut it to an appropriate length so that it fits below the top edge of the skylight. You're now ready to connect and attach the solar panel. Connect the wire located on the bottom of the skylight to the solar panel and then attach the panel to the body of the skylight with the two screws provided. After the shingles and step pieces have been installed to the top of the skylight on both sides, you can replace the cladding around the skylight. With claddings in place, install the saddle flashing. This should fit over the claddings. Now secure the claddings to the saddle flashing by turning the tabs back up so that they fit into the slot on the saddle flashing. Bend the tabs over so that they fit into the lowest part of the slot. The next step is to interweave the top flashing with the underlayment that covers the roof deck. If a seam is close to the top of the flashing, you can pull the nails out and slip a piece of underlayment under the seam and over the top flashing. If no seam is available, make a cut in the underlayment just a little wider than the flashing and slip a piece of underlayment under the seam and over the top flashing. This step will divert water that has gotten under the shingles to the top of the flashing and shingles. To finish off your flashing installation, add your roofing material back around the newly installed skylight. Ensure that there is a 2 and 3 8 to 4 inch gap from the top of the flashing to the bottom of the shingles. This may require trimming the bottom of the shingles as needed.